My subject today is cruising after gastric bypass, and I recently went on a one-week Disney Caribbean cruise um, to the Western, is it Eastern? No, sorry, Eastern Caribbean this time. And we had a wonderful time, but while we were on the ship, of course, it's a 24-hour food fest. You can get food 24 hours a day um, all over the ship, and it was kind of challenging because you get used to a routine that you have at your house, what you have, you don't put food in here that you don't want to eat, at least I don't, and so that was completely different and of course it's easy to get to, you just walk up and grab it and it's, you don't even have to pay for it because of course you paid for your cruise tickets, I kept telling my, sis, my daughter, she's like, it's free, and I was like, oh no, we paid for this in the tickets. But in a way, it is free. You can eat as much as you want or as little as you want. So I'm going to pass on some tips that I learned during this one-week cruise. The first of all is, in some cases with the Disney Cruise, you really didn't have too much of a choice besides a buffet. They did have a pretty good walk-up dining area, um, kind of like, quote-unquote, a fast food joint on the top. Um, one of them had the chicken nuggets, hamburgers, hot dogs, pizza, and another one was a healthy food choice. It had fruit and wraps and salads. So every time that I would get hungry, my daughter and husband would head over to um, the junk food version and I would go over, grab a wrap, take the wrap part off and usually eat what was on the inside, which was usually a pretty good chicken salad or tuna salad or some luncheon meats or things like that. So that worked out well for me. The buffets, which is for breakfast and lunch in most cases, I just learned to pick out what I wanted. I would go skip over the salad section, usually grab a little soup. They had some really good soups uh, throughout the week and then I would grab some protein. Um, the shrimp cocktails were good, um, some of the heated food, some of the salads, because I pretty much, I've lost all the weight I ever wanted to lose, plus some. Um, I don't worry about fat content in my food, so I'm okay with a chicken salad that might be a little extra mayonnaise-y. I don't worry about that. I don't put enough calories in my body to begin with that I'm going to start fretting over some extra mayonnaise in my um, seafood salad or my chicken salad. So that's what I do. For the meals, and I pulled up one of the menus that we had, um, Disney makes their meals in the evening very um, entertaining. So one night might be pirate night and another night will be a French night and animator's palette makes the walls change and in one, uh, one meal they actually have the chefs kind of dancing through the um, uh, where you're eating with baked Alaska flaming from the top. So it's a show but it also comes with a four course meal and I didn't want to have to miss that show stuff. I didn't want to miss living and being part of my family because it came with a four course meal. So when we first got there I would always just get some water that I would sip on to keep myself from eating the big baskets of bread that they put there at the table. Then once I got the food I stopped sipping on the water. I usually do drink a little bit before my meal. Um, just a couple sips here and there. And since I'm 15 months past my gastric bypass, I'll also sip on a little bit afterwards, especially if it's been a long, drawn-out, hour-and-a-half meal. Sometimes I will have a coffee afterwards. And So what I found I would do is, instead of getting that really sweet dessert, if I did even stay at the table, I would just order a coffee to sip at so I felt like my hands were busy and I was being social and being with the rest of the group. We did eat with another couple of from Maryland so it was nice to have companions at the table it wasn't just me my husband and my daughter so that was great so the uh, menu and this is for pirates night so you're dressing up like a pirate and then you've got fireworks afterwards and Mickey Mouse uh, repels down from the big huge stack to get Captain Hook after the 
dinner and then they have a whole separate buffet. So you've just finished this meal, you go watch a show, you go watch fireworks and literally they open up these dessert tables and food tables afterwards for like another midnight course. It's just scary the amount of food they have on these ships. So for appetizers I had a choice between jumbo crab cake, um, pot stickers, sliced pineapple or what they called pearls of the Caribbean which was crab meat, shrimp and smoked salmon on couscous. I ended up getting the pearls of the Caribbean and not eating the couscous and I did this a lot throughout the week. I would get like this, I love seafood, so I would get the seafood plate but not eat whatever they stacked it on, be it the salad or the pasta or you know the extra breading or whatever. I just eat the couple pieces of seafood and that was enough for me. So that was the appetizer course and then you move on to soups and salads. That night they had a honeydew melon and watermelon soup a conch chowder, jerked chicken salad, and another type of uh, bib lettuce salad. I think this evening I tried the honeydew melon soup. It was a little sweet, so I had a couple spoonfuls of it. My daughter had the conch chowder, which was really good. I had a couple scoops, uh, sips of that. And then um, the jerked chicken salad. I don't remember whose plate that I ate that off of, but another bite of that. So I had a little bit of soup and a bite. Now the good thing about at least dining here was it was drawn out over an hour and a half. So the food can kind of settle in. You don't have to worry about the soups not going down. It, it worked out okay. By the time they bring the main course, it was either chicken breast, red snapper, grilled shrimp and seared scallops, beef short ribs, a vegetable treasure, nut dusted mahi-mahi, roasted Dijon crusted sirloin beef, or tiger lily savory pancakes which was stuffed tofu and spinach. Hmm. Anyway, um, again I went for the seafood just because they always give it smaller quantities. I love seafood. It was well done on the ship and normally that's the grilled shrimp and scallops came with pasta and a tomato sauce on top and I just skipped over the pasta. This was the one night that they had a dessert that I really wanted and did not get because um, when I was on the ship two years ago I had gotten rum and raisin ice cream topped with Caribbean cake or on top of Caribbean cake with a rum caramel sauce. Um, who knows how many carbs that had. I could just easily tell you it shouldn't have been on my plate. And I wanted to have a good time the rest of the evening. So I did get a no sugar added dessert which was a mango mousse cake which was good but I also have learned not to eat, even if it's sugar free, I do not eat the whole thing because it's not so much the sugar free, it's the carbs and what's filling you up at that point. So um, I did get a little bit of the mousse cake, had a couple of bites and then went up to enjoy the show up on the deck. Um, I did that a lot during the week. Uh, I would sk either skip dessert completely or I would leave the table a little early and go do the next activity and it worked out well. I had some challenges halfway through the week. I was just sick of food. I did not want to look at any more food. We had this fancy French dinner that night and basically earlier in the a late afternoon, early evening, I just told my husband, I'm not going. I cannot sit down to another four course meal and look at food. And I ended up getting one of those wraps from the deck went to my room and just chilled out. A little bit later that evening I went up to their little coffee house, sipped on some coffee and just uh, basically worked on my book. I'm writing a book about my experiences. Um, so that was it and it was a great experience. I am so glad I did it. I wouldn't give it up for the world. Mainly what I learned is not to make such a big deal about the food. It's all over. It's there. It's available. You're not in starving syndrome. Um, just enjoy the trip. Uh, focus on the life part of it, not what you eat or what's coming. Just take care of yourself. Pack some proteins. I had baggies full of proteins that I would add to a milk or a drink throughout the week so that I did make sure I was uh, getting sufficient amount of protein. I also made sure I took my vitamins during the week and um, that was it. It was a great experience. Got to see St. Thomas, St. Martin. Uh, the week afterward we went swimming with the dolphins. I'm going to do up a video comparing me and my family on the cruise two years ago from this 
Cruz. And I am telling you, if you put the pictures side by side, we almost do not look like the same family. And it is amazing how much better our health is and our life is from just two years ago.